All right, guys, so we're going to talk about um, some custom paint lures that I got. Um, he is awesome at painting. Um, so we're going to look at some of these uh, paint jobs. Uh, his name is going to be uh, on the screen right here. And so hopefully you all like these baits. Uh, he did a really, really, really good job. So what I basically did, I sent him to um, his uh, address, and I put these baits in there, I got all the paint off, scratched them off, so they're blanks basically, like wig warts, uh, um, Excalibur, short war, uh, jerk bait, and stuff like that. He does a fantastic job. He he only charges $9 per bait for custom paint, and then $3.50 plus shifti shipping. Uh, these are, you can't beat that for custom paint lures. Like he makes square bills, like just, just, uh, private message him on uh, Fish Brain or uh, message him on Facebook on his uh, deal on his uh, Facebook and Fish Brain. So it's really, these are quality. I mean, I've had, you could check out the other video that I sent, that I made, the big lip lures when I first got them. Uh, they, they're holding up amazing. I mean, the blanks that he uses are awesome. So, Please go check them out. They're really good blanks. Say it's like a, like for a square bills, he could do 1.5 or 2.5, um, and then he could do like top water stuff. You you will see what kind of paint job he does. But just message him and tell him what pattern you want, um, what size of bait you want, and he's really good at that. Like nine dollars and three fifty for shipping. You can't beat that for a custom. Um, painted lure like some of them are like 14 15 dollars like you can't get them um and it probably takes like two to three days to get them in the mail you'll he he's really consistent like if you need it by a day probably uh he's pretty good but he he puts the customers before me so i so i really like that so he, he's got a couple of customers he's told me on uh fish brain so let's uh, dive into this and I'll show you all these baits. They're really, really nice looking, really good quality, really good paint job. Um, so let's dive in, all right? All right, so first of all, this is a Smithwick jerk bait. It used to be in a clown color, but it was a bone color underneath it. It's gonna be a nighttime jerk bait. Um, put hooks on him, but he usually puts hooks on him. Uh, he was out of them, but um, he was going to do another order before, um, he shipped them to me, but I was like, it's fine, dude. I got plenty of hooks, but the hooks don't count as a price, I guess, but it's $9 per bait. Basically it, you can't beat that for cuz paint and you can do whatever pattern you want. Um, this is Excalibur. Uh, this is my, one of my favorite ones. Uh, it's like a trout color. It's awesome. Like look at that detail right there. Like, and that's like really good detail right there like oh my gosh <laughs> it, it's darker um in real life but on the camera i don't know how it will show up but i really like the glitter that he puts in all of them um that just like triggers the fish for some reason on the golden ghost shad that i've done um it's been really working out um really good with the sparkles it's like a ghost color but it's like a goldish tint sort of like this one um this is like really good i saw his uh jerk bait post on fish brand i was like uh can you please switch that um to the rainbow trout color please because that looks awesome so i did that and here's another bait right here uh this is just a storm wiggle war i just chipped off the paint off of it um i really like how he does it um like some of the custom painters they're pretty lazy about doing the paint job on its on their lips like the paint it's sort of, it goes all the way down to here. He gets it as close as he can to the bill, so the clear part is no, not even covered in paint. Like, that is just amazing job. Like, he tapes it off, I guess, to paint it. And I really like how he does these eyes and stuff. Like, they're awesome. Um, and I just put these hooks on there and everything. Like, I was like, man, I, I got plenty of hooks and stuff like that. So really really good uh this will be good for the winter time uh fall time whenever it starts getting colder um it looks sort of like a crawdad but a shad at the same time because sometimes crawdads like whenever the full moon they uh 
molt. Uh, they get out of their shell and they're a little bit paler like this. So like after a full moon, this might be good. Um, and then this one for stock trout lakes and ponds and stuff like that, that'd be good. I mean, I bet it'd just be good reaction bait, but those two are good. And then we got the nighttime wiggle wart. It's just storm wiggle wart. Um, really good paint job glitter. Uh, I said I wanted red eyes on there because red just looks good on a black stuff, sort of like this other um, jerk bait. But it's it's really nice. I see like that quality right there. Um, he doesn't get the paint on the bill at whatsoever. Like it's evenly cut and. Here's the other one, a short wart. This is an old lure. Um, I found it on the bank. Um, it, it was just a bone color, like the paint's already been gone, so I just cleaned it up a little bit. And so the bill was bone, it wasn't clear, so you know, you have to paint on those bills to match the bait. I really, really, really like how he did that. Like, look how even that is. Like, this is a really good orange blue craw color. Like, when the water's a little bit stained, oh, this is going to be fire. You're going to see this coming in my videos whenever they start um, in the fall time. Whenever they are on, like, shallow pea gravel, this would be a little bit better than a wiggle war um, because, you know, it won't get snagged. But look at that detail. I mean, it's, like, even and stuff. Um, I really like how he did those lines. Like, some of them are bolder than other, others because, you know, crawdad, like, fish, they just don't really care. But he just did a really good job. I mean... It, it, this one was probably the hardest one out of all these besides the um, trap one. This one, you probably did the most effort because, you know, you had to do the bill and everything. But the eyes, I love the eyes on this one. Um, he did a really good job. Like, they fade in and stuff. And I really like how he did the bill. Like, that is just awesome. Orange, then blue immediately. Like, he did that evenly throughout the bait. Like, that's awesome. Really like how he did the lines and everything for the craw pattern. I mean... It's just quality stuff, guys. You just check them out. Big Lip Lures, just check them out. $9 for a custom paint crankbait. You can't get anything better like that. They Sometimes they sell up to 30 bucks. This is quality paint, guys. Like, that Golden Ghost Shad that I have, I've been catching a bunch of fish on, and that bluegill one, they are holding up amazing. The blanks I use are amazing. The bills... They're not chipping up whatsoever. Like, you know how some of them just raw down all the way to, like, right here, like, close to the split ring. Like, these baits are amazing. So, please. So, those blanks, they have, like, a little rattle in there, like a high-pitched rattle where you don't really find those. Um, in square bills, they're usually silent or have a one-knocker. This one has a one-knocker and a high-pitched rattle. Like, it's really, really good. So... He uses really good blanks, he uses good paint, and he clear coats them like a couple times, I think. Um, so the paint will last longer. Um, really, really good quality. I love these lures. So you're going to see these in the pre in more videos to come up and everything like that. Um, because these baits are amazing looking. Um, really going to come up in fall and winter time and night time. That's when they're going to probably be shining the most. Um, the black ones at nighttime, obviously, and then the other ones like fall and then um, winter. So please go check these guy, this guy out. Big Lip Lures. Big Lip Lure Custom Paint. That's what it is. Uh, it's going to be at the uh, middle of the video, like how you spell it and everything, and at the end uh, of the video. So please stay at the end. I mean, these lures are awesome. Uh, so I'm going to get the square bills that you painted me um, last time and show you how much they pulled up from all the fish that I've caught. Just go watch all my previous videos and probably almost every other one I've been catching fish on his baits. I've caught so much big fish, big smallmouth, big largemouth, big spots. They're amazing. You catch fish on these baits, so let me go get them and show y'all how they're holding up. So go check out the other video and see how, like, how clean they were, and then check them out now. I mean, they're a little bit hook rash, but not as bad, like, as, like, the KVD, striking KVDs, the paint chips and everything like that. So these are quality paint. I mean, guys, you, you can't get anything better, so let me get them, all right? All right, guys, so I got the baits. So let's take a look at them, all right? Uh, I haven't showed one of these. Uh, he puts Mustad triple get, triple grips on there, KVD triple grips, I think. Um, they're really good quality hooks. I mean, those are good quality hooks. So he puts really good quality hooks on them. 
really sharp ones that I haven't got dulled yet. I haven't really even lost the fish really on these, except for like little ones that just short strike it like little dinks like that big, like six, seven, eight inches. But those, you don't really have to worry about those. I mean, just want to get the keepers, good size fish in. I mean, they choke these crankbaits. I send them pictures of uh, the baits in their mouth and they're pretty consistent. They keep on hitting that front hook. So that means they want it. If they hit the back hook, that means they're swiping at it. When they're hitting it, like the front hook, that means they're eating it. When they're like T-boned it, that's when you know you're throwing that all day. So let's take a look at these um, lures, how they're holding up. And from the past video, um, they're really holding up. Like I don't have, I don't see a chip of paint whatsoever on these. So let's take a look, all right? So this one right here, this fire tiger one, uh, it's really good. It's posted on his fish brain. He really wanted to keep this one, but um, it was uh, for me, but I really like how he did it. Um, really unique style. I really like how it fades all in and stuff. Like the colors and stuff fade all in just like a fire tiger crankbait. Like original like wiggle wart style crankbait or I mean wiggle wart. Um, but I love that glitter, the black glitter. Well, the water hasn't been muddy um, that much, so I haven't been able to use it. But whenever it gets muddy, like if we have a big flood, oh, this thing is going to be killer. So this is the high pitch rally that I, I'm talking about. Like, did you hear that? Hopefully y'all can hear it. Uh, I'll get out another crankbait and show you um, the difference, like from a regular crankbait. But um, this, I've only used this like once or twice, but it all these crankbaits run good he put really good hooks on there you can see ewg must have triple grips um so that one's a new one that i needed to show you um and here's the um gold ghost shad right here holding up amazing look at that like if 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 you caught that many fish on this on a regular bait like a kvd or something i i love kvds but the bad thing is they have like sort of trashy hooks and they the paint on there just chips like it just chips there's no coat on them that like it has a little bit of hook rash on it but it's not bad whenever you put it in the water because it's sort of like all blends in you know but like all baits get that but after, like a bunch of fish i mean look at this bait i mean i bait i've burned this across rocks and everything look at that bill i mean dude that is good i mean that's good quality stuff right there like the split rings he puts on there are good these are good hooks too they're mustad i think too um but just that bait is just hanging in good i love the big dot that he put on puts on there they're usually smaller dots and um and the shad if you look at shad they're usually bigger than the smaller dots and if you can look up closely there's like hexagon hexagon pattern they put on there but the blanks I use, and then the eyes are good. Um, holding up good. These baits hold up good. I mean, I've caught so many fish that they flecked really good. Uh, here's the other bait right here. This one, it was in my other video too. Um, really good. Um, this bait, I've caught some nice ones um, this week on it. Um, I caught a two and a half pounder, and then I, I've caught um, a two and a half smallmouth and a bunch of big largemouth on this one this it just looks good i mean it's really good and this is the same uh blank that he uses um he uses all the same blanks like these four if i can get the other one and i'll show you the um like a chipped up crankbait like what it uh look like looks like compared to all the other ones um in dirty water and um and uh getting close to fall time this crawdad will be killer it's like a red crawl, um, really good. I've used it a couple times, but you can hear that high pitch rattle in there. Paint job is just amazing on this one. I love it. Um, really like it. Um, and then this one, same here. It has all the high pitch rattles, all the same blanks. Um, they're all really, really good. So, really good crank. So, this is the kind of deal that I'm talking about. This is a KVD 1.5 um, uh, Sartre's. Uh, black back uh so you can see if you look closely see that's like the paint chips i'm talking about big lip lures they don't get that kind of paint chip it's just a hook rash uh, but that's normal on every hard plastic crankbait top water and stuff like that i mean like look at this bill like it's starting to round off 
and not be squared. Like, it's round. Look, that's square. That's starting to get round. And I've had this bait probably for six months, and I've only used it like a couple times, like in dirty water. That's why I'm saying I'm going to use that one a lot more because it has that high pitch rattle. They can probably hear it a lot better in the water. But look at all these chips and see the paint, like how it goes down on the bill. That's what I'm talking about, like the paint going on the bill. I don't like when baits do that. But you can see how it's all chipped up. It's already starting to be like a little clear right there where the hook rash is. But like the paint is just a little cheap on these. And they don't clear coat, it's like just a paint job, like a, probably like a wrap paint, I don't know, but how they do it, but the eyes came off and everything like that, but. All right guys, so please give a thumbs up, please comment me, it, and please um, comment if you like these lures and you wanna purchase one. Maybe um, I can get a deal for y'all, but um, I'll talk to him and then, uh, and then um, I'll make another video probably when I catch a fish on one of these baits, which I will. 100% sure, which I will, I will tell y'all in the video probably upcoming or something like that. So go check out these baits. I'm going to type his name out and everything on, um, for Fish Brain and Facebook page. Um, so you can look him up. Uh, please, if you're going to purchase them, like send a private message on Fish Brain or Facebook, please say that Cranking Them Bass sent you. Like, Cranky Them Bass um, sent me to Big Lip Lures, so that's what you need to probably message him first, so please go check him out. $9, $9 for a customized crankbait. You can't get anything better than that, and the blanks are amazing that he uses in the paint drop, so please go check him out. Please give a thumbs up, 